have an existing business, something that has nothing to do with one facet, right? Maybe you're selling nails or you're selling cosmetics or whatever it is that you're selling. Um, you know, if that's your business, then certainly you can use on passive tools and products uh, within that business to explode that business, right? Um, if you don't have a separate business, then you basically adopt on passive as your business. So in other words, you can still create, you know, Julie Wynn um, LLC, right? And Julie Wynn LLC is doing what? It's selling digital products, right? So it'll be selling Oak Connect, it's selling, um, you know, Oak Academy and so on, right? Giving customers access to free products such as Omail, Onet and all of that, right? So there's different ways to go with it, but it's just important that everyone understand that you, I, us, we don't own on passive, um, but yet it will give us the, the vehicle that we certainly can get to whatever uh, destination we want from a financial standpoint, um, by all means. Sure. Um, so as, as I mentioned, you know, there's kind of like two um, streams, if you wish, right? There's a stream whereby I already have a going concern. I already have an existing business and I just want to be able to get more customers for that existing business, right? Uh, so based upon that, uh, if we if we use that as the first stream, right, then we know that with all businesses, it's so important to have traffic, traffic, traffic. What is traffic? Traffic is people, real eyeballs, real individuals who are potential customers. Right? Not everyone is your customer, but they're all potential customers. If what you offer, if they like what you offer, if they want what you offer, if they're looking for what you have to offer, then they are your potential customers. And so you can use uh, traffic, advertising, uh, marketing uh, that can be uh, purchased through a passive. You can use that to help drive potential customers to your existing business, right? And the same goes with um, the various tools that are available. Even something as simple as Omail, right? So you yeah, access an email, but you know, based upon the features that are there, you can utilize that now within that existing business that you have by switching over, uh, you know, to that particular platform instead of what you may be currently using. A lot of people use Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, etc., for their business uh, email, right? So Omail can be that, and based upon the features, the enriched features that be available. Um, you know, you're going to be able to get a better experience and also help your customers then have a better experience through video, emails, and so on, right? Uh, the old trim, being able to trim your links that you have to promote your business, right? Maybe you want a particular product to be promoted, so you can use a specific customized link for that purpose, right? So all these things is applicable for whatever uh, existing business that you have, but also if you don't have that existing business, right? You're just looking for a way uh, to be able to, you know, take care of your family, take care of your finances, get a, a greater handle on that, even looking to create wealth for yourself and your family. All these things can happen by adopting the OnPassive brand as your business, right? And then I can still utilize uh, those products in the same way, right? Except it's not promoting an existing business, but it's promoting the OnPassive uh, products directly by me being an affiliate. So as an affiliate, I can sell on passive products and generate a commission from that, right? So either way, I'm still building my business, still building my brand because I can customize it by having my unique domain name and so on through the through the uh, the trim, um, uh, the old trim that we have, you know. So all those things can be customized in such a way that what people are seeing uh, would be Julie Wynn. Right? That's what they're seeing. That is the brand. That's what we're promoting. Um, but yet, the products that I'm selling are powered by our own passive. Right? That's how being an affiliate uh, of a particular uh, company works. Right? And so we have those two streams that we can use. And you can do both. Right? You could have an existing business and as well as have that brand in one direction. And then through another um, avenue, now also have the own passive. Um, products and that you're just selling directly so you can have best of both worlds um, and so that's why i'm saying it is really exciting folks if we start to understand uh, the power of being able to have corporate offices you know in dubai in india in america you know in singapore and now in egypt that is powerful 
okay? Because that's giving you access now, you know, to the globe right? in, in that sense, right? That's what it's best doing. Um, and so more and more people gonna recognize on passive. Uh, so it's gonna be that much easier uh, to just share the products that are available um, and generate a sizable income for yourself and your family. Uh, it's a complete win. So when we tap into that, with all the branding uh, that on passive is doing, people are going to like, love uh, the, the product itself, the name itself, the people, right? The staff, all of that ties into you being able to generate an income stream. Um, and so that's exactly what we have. So we have those two streams that we can utilize. And, and I'm sure brand ambassadors will certainly take advantage of it. And as more and more customers come in, they will come just for using the products. They're not coming necessarily to build an income. They're coming just to use the products because right now we know that there are billions of people around the world that are using emails, that are using video conferencing, that are using e-learning platforms, you know, uh, that have a human resource department. So old staff, for example, powered by on passive uh, will be an excellent product uh, for those companies and organizations. So we have a lot to offer to a lot of people and we can just, we can maximize our own returns um, by seeing how we fit in uh, to those streams. Businesses now, we're talking about right. two positions. Sure, so so each account, right? So when you, so you, you created an account, right? Um, so each account that you have uh, can be a separate business, right? Uh, they don't have to promote the exact same thing. They can promote two different things, right? Or they can both promote the exact same thing. Right? But regardless, they're separate, right? Two separate entities, right? Um, and so I look at that as multiple income streams, right? Uh, again, especially in this day and age, people have to have multiple income streams, Julie. Having one income just isn't enough. And that's why you have people who are doctors, lawyers, teachers, um, you know, you name it. Uh, people from all walks of life, uh, having that one income just isn't enough. You know, we know dentists, you know, uh, again, they make a great income, but it just isn't enough. Not based upon all the things that you want to do in life. And if you care about people, Julie, you need to have a lot. You need to have a lot of access, a lot of resource uh, to really um, go out there and make a difference in the world um, to, to be able to help people. So uh, the more income streams you can have, the better uh, it will be for you because it will help you get to your income goal faster. That's for sure. Right, and also help you to be able to share and enhance other people's lives um, by being able to, whether it be employ them, uh, whether it be through donations to various charitable uh, organizations and so on. Um, you know, it just makes a lot of sense. So yeah, if you had two accounts, uh, then you can set them up as two separate companies. You're still the owner. Remember now, as an owner of a company, I can own as many companies as I like. There's no, there's no limit, right? Um, I can own 10 companies, 20 companies, a thousand companies. I can do all that. If I wanted to own 1,000 McDonald's, for example, I could, right? If I wanted to own, you know, a thousand Starbucks, I could, right? You just have to have the money to be able to uh, purchase that, right? That's what it comes down to. So there's no limit. Um, and there's various ways that you could structure yourself and all this. But once, you know, a person was engaged in our business, once they start to generate income, uh, they can use that fund to get the proper advice, you know, get proper legal counsel, proper tax counsel, all these things um, so that you can structure yourself, structure your business um, in the most cost effective uh, way and also how to maximize uh, the income that will be coming in, right? Uh, you certainly want to, you know, minimize taxation, minimize expense, all these things you want to do. Um, but there are a lot of um, great professionals out there uh, that can help you. But I would encourage you to generate some income first and then use that income that comes in uh, to help you further maximize uh, what you have access to. Right, absolutely. This, this is what I would do, uh, Julie, right? So, you know, let's suppose I have um, five individuals in my family. You know, I have a wife, two children, right? Uh, maybe a dog, a cat. <laughs> Just kidding, okay? Um, but you have five people in the family, right? Um, I would hold all of my accounts under one entity, right? 
Um, so this is the family business. So this, this one corporation, let's say, right? And so all the income from all the accounts that are coming into that one corporation, right? And now I can hire my wife, right? So the company, right? You can hire um, a spouse, you can hire your children, etc. cetera. Um, and then, so you pay them income out of that umbrella, right? Um, so, you know, that's income splitting, right? So that's something that can be done. It, you don't necessarily have to have you know, Susie has her own account and John and, you know, uh, Jeffrey, you know, it, it doesn't have to be that way. So there's different ways that people can go about it, right? But to me, I like to keep things simple. So I would rather have this one umbrella and have everything coming in that one umbrella. And then all of us as family members, okay, you're going to be the CEO of this company. You'll be the vice president, you know, um, you're going to be an executive, you know, whatever, right? Give people different titles. You're the secretary, whatever, right? Um, and and so as a result of that, they all of them command uh, a, a particular salary uh, from the business, and that's how they're receiving their income. Now that child, you know, um, uh, gets their income, depending on the country you're in, right? Uh, I know like here in Canada, you know, from your born, you get a social insurance number, right? And I'd imagine the U.S. is kind of the same thing. When you're born, you have that. Once you have a social insurance number or a social security number, uh, you can actually um, be employed. You can actually receive income and, and pay taxes accordingly, et cetera. You know, so there's different ways that you can do that. But I'll just keep it simple, right? And so for those who are wondering, okay, should I keep it in my child's name and all these things? Okay, is your child of legal age in your country to be able to run a business? Because it is a business. I know you want to take care of your child and your children, right? But it's still a business at the end of the day. So that's why I say I'd rather have everything under one umbrella or everything coming into the parent or parents, right? And then down the road, you know, all of a sudden the child turns 18 now, no problem. I can hire my child. You know what? I want you to be my vice president. I want you to be my president of XYZ company. And then you're paying your child, you know, um, a CEO salary. You understand? Like, that's what I would do. That's how I would go about my business because that way it keeps it nice and clean. It keeps it um, simple. It's easy to run. There's no worrying about who gets what and how it, just keep it simple, right? So that's how I would, I would go about doing it, Joe. Well, it's, it's always good to be, <clears throat> excuse me, a, a product of your product, right? That, that's always a good thing, you know? And so is it mandatory? Do I have to? I would say no. Right, um, you know, because you can use, uh, you know, a lot of literature, right? You can use a lot of videos, um, all those things you can use to get information out to people. So even though you yourself may not fully grasp it, right? Um, you can still sell it, okay? Um, I, can, I can sell a product that I don't actually use. I can do that. Is it better to actually use it and know it and understand it? Yes. Absolutely. I would say it's better to know it. So if you have the time, certainly you want to get in there, understand it, see how it works, test it out for yourself, you know, so that you are convicted that what you're offering to people is something that is good. You're not just taking my word for it or Julie's word for it or the CEO's word for it or somebody else, right? You've actually experienced it for yourself. And there's no, nothing more than when someone uh, is confident about what they're talking about or what they're sharing, you know, it comes out in your in your communication, whether it's verbal, whether it's written, it comes out, right? And people will resonate with that and they want to come and join somebody who's confident about what they're doing. Like no one wants to want to buy something from someone who's, well, you know, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it will work. I'm not sure. You understand? But where someone says, yeah, absolutely, this is the best video conference a platform on the planet right now and you have to try it out for yourself come get your 14 day free trial test it you know don't take my word you come on in and experience it for yourself right so people are going to resonate more with that right because there's confidence behind uh what you're promoting and it's not false confidence because you've actually tried it yourself you see you've tried it you've used it right so you know what it is so yeah it's it's highly important i believe uh for people to get to know it but again, not everybody's tech savvy, Julie. There are some people that they're going to struggle just because it's technology, not because it's complicated, 
but it's just because of this technology. Some people struggle with opening an email account, right? Just to go to gmail.com and get it, e they struggle with that. And so that's okay, right? There is a place for every single person out there. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter your background. There's a place for every single person out there to be able to benefit from we have to, what we have to offer uh, with our passive. So people should not, you know, um, be let fear creep in, you know, or want to take a backseat because oh my gosh, I don't know it's technology. No, 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 not at all. This is complex technology, but made simple by on passive. Yeah, so it, it is very, very easy, uh, Julie, you know, but I wouldn't just take the link as is and just say, here you go. You know, um, it, it, it depends. Like if I've been communicating, um, you know, with an audience, right, for some time, and so they understand uh, everything about on passive and all that, then it's just a matter of saying, okay, here, give them an update. This is where we are in the process now. We actually have our first paid product, uh, which is our, you know, uh, O-Connect uh, video conference platform. Okay, so guess what? You, now you can come in and you can test drive it for free for 14 days. So here, here's my link, create an account, right? And um, and come on in and check it out for yourself, right? So from that standpoint, yes, I just I just give them the link. Okay, but then there are others that you have not spoken to, um, you know, uh, about uh, on passive, right? So you can't just send them there and say, hey, here's my link, come on in, we're ready for you. Ready for what? Like, what are you talking about? They have no idea. So you have to be able to give them some information. And we have some fantastic videos uh, that are on our corporate uh, YouTube channel, right? Um, we have some great material that's on our blog, right? Uh, that people can send to others uh, so that they can get a good overview of what this is all about and then take the next step, which is to create a free account with you, right? Like it really is that simple, right? And so as people um, start to see uh, the amazing technology that Unpassive has, all our products and so on uh, that we currently have right now, when they start to get information, see all the different partnerships, um, you know, so all the great people we've aligned ourselves with, right? Uh, when people see all of that, it's an easy decision, right? To be able to come in and create a free account. It's an easy decision. And from there, they get to sell themselves, you know, on why they should stay, right? All you want to do is to be able to just get them to come in, take a look. And when they come in, if they like what they see, right? If they start to play with O-Connect, they're going to spend hours uh, uh, using O-Connect because of all the features. It's, it's just pleasant to the eye, right? People are gonna love it. So, um, you know, that's kind of how you go about it. You don't you don't be hammering somebody over the head, you know, oh, you need to come buy this or you need to come, not at all, you know, or, or take people's email address and just insert it in, you know, for them to create it. No, let them experience it for themselves. Here's some information, you know, and here's my affiliate link, right? And, and that's all one needs to do, but don't just, just give the link by itself though. Okay. No, just have to help people understand that, you know, don't just post that link that you mentioned and, you know, give people a little intro, you know, a couple lines, you know, um, give them a little intro and then say, go here for all the details. Then you put that link and then you said, you know, get your free account here. And then you put your affiliate link, right? Uh, you know, something of that nature, um, again, Make sure it makes sense to you, because if it doesn't make sense to you, chances are it's not gonna make sense to other people, right? But if it makes sense to you, okay, uh, then uh, others will find it, um, you know, the same, right? So just just do that. You know, be your own tester, okay? Test it on yourself, right? And if you can post an email, send it to yourself. Make sure you can click the link, okay? And you see where it goes, okay? Then you click the affiliate link, you see where it goes. Right? Test it on yourself uh, or test it with someone that you know uh, before you start, you know, really getting it out there. Okay? The same way on passive, what do they do? They create something, test it, test it, test it. Then they get it out there. Then we start to scale it, right? So it's the same idea you want to do in your business, you know? Um, test first, meaning something small, right? And oh, yeah, this is working. Okay, this is good. Okay, now you can do go bigger and bigger and bigger. Some people are just getting their links out there, Julia, like gangbusters, 
And I'm like, okay, how, how effective is that? Right? You just put your link out there. Um, okay. Like who are you trying to attract? Right? What we want folks is we're looking for customers. We want people to be able to come in and to utilize the products because that's how you're going to generate income going forward. Customers, 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 customers. And again, all this that we're talking about is optional. Okay. If you don't want to, you know, get no links out there, you don't want to share it, and you want to just sit back, relax, and wait till the company puts everything together, you know, and then everything is finalized, optimized, all of that. Now you see, okay, all right, then you can go forward, right? So it's, it's really a choice. Some folks are just eager and they want to get things out there. Uh, they can't help it because you're enjoying the experience and they want others to enjoy it as well. Um, you know, and so therefore they're sharing um, their links, you know, so again, completely optional. Uh, it's your choice. Everything's always a choice, you know, um, but for those who are looking for, um, you know, let's say life changing uh, income, uh, Julie, uh, certainly they want to get a jump start and that's why they're, they're getting their links out there. But remember folks, there's 8 billion people with a B on the planet, right? So there's no shortage. You know what I mean? You're not going to be left out. You're not going to be left behind if you don't get your links out there to people. You know, if you're thinking of your friends and your family, you only have so much. Come on now. You don't have millions upon millions of friends and family, right? It's a, a very small amount that you have. Okay. So that means the larger market, the larger prospect, the larger potential customers are people that you don't know. So remember that people that you don't know, that's your biggest market. That's your biggest potential. Okay, and so how would you attract those individuals? So you have to start thinking like that. Don't be thinking, well, I only need to get two, um, you know, uh, customers. So, oh yeah, I know my, there's my buddy John and there's my cousin Sue. So I get those two to come in and then, oh yeah, they know tons of people. So then they'll go, that's not what this is, folks. You want to have as many customers for yourself as possible for your business. Remember now. Tell me one business where you can have like one or two customers and that's it, right? You know, Microsoft, how many customers do they have? Apple, how many customers? So think of yourself as, you know, a little on passive. So here's on passive that's going to have, you know, hundreds of millions of customers, but within there, right? There's you, there's your business. How many of those customers do you want? to be in your business, you understand? So all of us will have our own business within the scope of on passive, right? Um, you know, so it's just a matter of what it is that you're looking for. Some folks just want a couple hundred bucks a month, Julie, and they're happy with that. But with that, you can't help anyone, right? And then there are those who want, you know, a big bank, right? And so therefore uh, they have a lot of causes, a lot of people that they want to support. You know, so that's important to understand, right? Because I think that will also help you decide, you know, what choices you'll be making as far as sharing. It's customization, right? You, you want to customize to your audience, right? If you know your audience, now sometimes you don't know your audience, right? But if you know your audience, you want to customize to them. And, and we know, one thing we know for sure is that there's more than 5 billion with a B, as in Bob, Right, five billion people more than that um, that do have uh, money issues. Right? That's something that is factual, right? Um, and so, you know, that's a huge market, right? And this is what we're trying to do is to help them understand um, that here is a solution for you, which is on passive. Right? It's a solution, right? Those who are in on passive, um, they will win as a result of being in. Right. And then we also know that there are those individuals, um, Julie, uh, that are just looking for pure products for their own existing business. Right. When I look at myself, there are products that I use right now that are not powered by on passive. Right. So the idea is for the products that are powered by on passive to replace uh, those products that I currently use. Right. In the future, when I want a domain name, where will I go? In my own passive business and purchase them, right? Um, when I, for, for, for email, okay, replace my existing provider and use Omail, right? And so on, right? Instead of me using this platform that we are right now, 
right? Or any other one, okay, we have our own video conference and so why would I not use that? You understand? So we know going forward that all the pop of the products that are powered by on passive uh, will be able to replace what we're currently using because as a business owner, you always want to trim your bottom line, right? You want to minimize your expenses and maximize your profits, right? And that's going to help it because the products are going to be so much more cost effective than what's currently in the marketplace. So a lot of companies will have to change the way they do business going forward, Julie, because of what on passive is coming out with and, and the, the model uh, that they chose, because it's a choice, right? People often forget that on passive did not have to go this route. On passive could have been just like all the other companies then, and just, just a handful know about what's going on behind the scenes, you know, and take two years, three years, five years, however long, and then when everything is ready, okay, here's this new company, now let's go and start to sell our products. And then who makes the money? Just the few, the handful, the five or 10 people or so uh, that got started with that company. And that's it. On passive says, no, we can do better than that. Instead of the few making all the money, all the revenue coming in, and it's just us, right? You know what? We can get individuals from around the world to come and participate, come and lock hands with us, right? And be those initial, those early birds that we talk about, right? That's who the founders and brand ambassadors are. The company says, we want to give you an opportunity to earn, okay? And so therefore come partner with us, right? Come join us, uh, hands with us and let's move forward and build this thing out because we're going to need feedback. So having 1 million, getting feedback from 1 million is so much better than getting feedback from just 10 people. Think about when you look for reviews of products and services. You rather see a review of a product that there's only three reviews and you say, oh yeah, that's the one I want to use. Or would you go with one that has, you know, maybe 3,000 reviews, right? And and so you can see that, yeah, after 3,000 reviews, it, it's great. It's a seven out of 10 or a four out of five or whatever. Then you, you tend to go with that. So I'd rather see more reviews. And that's what uh, we're doing as brand ambassadors. We're able to give the feedback, right? And not just, just a few people giving feedback. It makes a difference.